Hey, 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 Elizabeth. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. How are you, teacher? I'm doing pretty good. Did you have a good weekend? Uh, yes, I had a, a very busy weekend. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Why is that? Well, I had to, I, I went to Santana um, Saturday and Sunday. I had to, I had to pick up my, my niece and then take her, take her back on Sunday. She She's from Santana? She lives there, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why. Yeah. And how, how old is your niece? She's uh, seven. Ah. So a very, mm -hmm. a very busy weekend because at seven, hmm, they have a lot of energy. I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I really enjoy it. I, I, would, I haven't seen her um, since... I'll go sick, I guess. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sometime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. You got a chance to go to Santana and see some family. Yeah. And that's from your uh, brother or from your sister? Brother. I don't have a sister. I just had two brothers. <laughs> it's better for you, right? The only girl. I'm the girl. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. And yeah. the rest of you guys, how are you? How's everybody else? I see Rocio has a new picture. I don't know the flower, but it looks it looks pretty. It looks like a pretty flower. Yes, teacher. <laughs> I took that picture in El Bocaron. I don't know the name of the, the flower. Yeah, but it looks nice. It looks like a nice like a nice day thank you mm -hmm. all right and everybody else how was the weekend what happened <clears throat> okay no <laughs> no problem you don't have to share it's not a problem <laughs> you had a bad weekend you had a bad weekend it happens <laughs> <laughs> sometimes yeah. you, sometimes you have to work and you know you don't have anything else to do all right so what we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about we're going to form our um a few groups and we're just going to get together and talk about the holidays and especially with about what things can you outsource or do you outsource during the holidays okay so in this case like what things do you do? I, I used to give classes to this, um, let's say to this, to this family that had a lot of money. And during the holidays, they would, they would put a Christmas tree and decorate the house, but they don't do it. They outsource it. They pay someone specifically to come to the house and to decorate the tree and to put it and decorate that the, around the house. Okay. So mm -hmm. they would, they they wouldn't put their Christmas tree. They would they would have um, I don't know I don't know if it's a company or people, but they would pay for this service to have the house decorated. They didn't do anything themselves. So you know you never know. It's very very strange. I know I know in the holidays, especially with big families, um, many times people have the turkeys. They they have the turkeys cooked by by someone else. They. They pay for someone to cook a turkey or to roast mm -hmm. it and then they take it home or something like this. But, you know, this yeah. is this is a little bit more logical because a turkey can be really big and, and it takes a lot of hours to cook it. You know, you're going to be cooking it maybe, you know, at least six or eight hours. So, you know, that makes more sense, especially if you don't have a big oven for if you have to cook other things, cakes, pies, whatever. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a moment with our partners and just thinking about the holidays, what things do you do personally or what things do you 
other people do, you know, during the holidays. Yes, yes, yes Ramon. Good evening. Uh, I have a question. Uh, we have a time for ask you about the mid mid midterm midterm exam exam. Yes, Romulo. We're gonna talk about the holidays, and then just to give everybody else a few more minutes to come into class, and then we're gonna talk about the midterm to make sure that way. The, in you. case we have a few more people that come in late, especially on Monday, um, the idea is to try to answer the all the questions for everybody at once. Okay. Thank you. Okay, no problem. So this is only going to be a few moments, only about five minutes, just talking about it, and then we're going to come back and discuss the the unit and the midterm. Okay. Hey, Patricia, there you go. I had to, I was telling the teacher that I went to Santana um, Sunday, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Uh-huh, and, uh, and, and, and he's tired, tired because the traffic, the traffic oh, on, the, on, the, on, the road, on the road, yeah, it's horrible, so, yeah. Yes, I was preparing the travel for the my older son because uh, he, he he coming. He, yeah, go. <laughs> my my older son. Uh huh. Uh, another person do for you. Next holiday or what holiday? Uh, Christmas. Uh -huh. Christmas and and the la the last day of the week. Of the year, New Year's Eve. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> for me, uh, with my family, we enjoy to 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 do the the dinner. In the case of uh, in that case, wedding mm -hmm. a wedding with a wedding or birthday party. Yeah, there's people to to do that too but in it's more common that people used to do that i mean the family mm, yeah well, especially people um that have more more money <laughs> yeah rich people they can do that we're pure people so we can't <laughs> <laughs> we need to do it by ourselves but you have you have a lot of creative creativity <laughs> i don't think so your cousins you call your cousins cousins my cousins mm -hmm. who's that is a role oh. i mean maybe maybe yeah no, two years is uh time that, is the time it's yeah. gonna take there yeah. yeah but um uh, maybe he returned in the next summer oh but he's vacation. not he's he's not gonna be here by by christmas no no right <laughs> no because uh, uh re really he he use uh uh he should travel in, in August, but uh, for the, the pandemic, um, he couldn't travel, right? Uh, because uh, he started uh, class in, in August uh, online. Oh, I see. Okay. I see. That's a good experience. Well, for, but <laughs> he's, he's uh, gonna, yeah, it's another experience. You're gonna miss him, uh, miss him. Yeah, but I think that it's a good opportunity to to he can get uh, another scholarship for the university. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's nice. Good. All the 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 classmates is uh, the different part of, of around the world. Yeah. Mexico, Venezuela, Chile, no. France, is he, yeah. Is he he speaks he speak English or yeah yeah another yes, language? Yes. Yeah 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 he's speaking English mm -hmm. very well. Because English is you know the the universal the universal language. Yeah. He speak English. He studied the, 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 the and bilingual uh, school here in El Salvador. Yeah. Oh. But I tried to 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 he, he practice. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I went to he he went to the United States uh, oh. and three three times. That's and nice. So you had periods, you yeah. had someone to someone who uh, who uh, you can uh, practice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 See, sometimes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's so what what plans bad, do you bad. have for? Oh, yes, teacher. Sorry. No, no, that's it. Okay. Any questions? All right, guys, good. So we're just taking a look at the plans, taking the things that people get done. Um, definitely, you know, everybody has different things. Some people have uh, cakes, uh, some people decoration. Sometimes I know some families that during the Christmas is the time to paint the house. <laughs> That's what they do. They, they, they take this time and they paint and they clean and they do all types of things for the new year, not to have a, the new year nice and clean. So, okay, we all have different traditions, different things that we have or get done. Um, before we go on to today's topic, which are three word phrasal verbs, um, I think we have a few questions about the midterm or about other parts of the exam or the course. Romulo, I know you had mentioned something that, that you had a question about the midterm. Yes, I have a, about the, let me, let me check. <laughs> mm -hmm. I took the picture. Excellent. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> Let me. And the and the. Oh. Let me check. Part one that um, the number I couldn't couldn't the, take the listening or or what? No, the um, complete complete the sentence. No, complete the sentence. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Complete the sentence. Oh, uh, and in what is the question? Uh, the okay. Uh, the part one, the number, uh, but I had the problem because uh, when they use a, a problem, uh, for example, when some someone leaking, crack it, or, or staining, but I have a problem with it, that word. I try to 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 write uh, and different, and then but I, I couldn't get the the check. Okay, let's take a look. Not listening, the teacher is a, is a, yeah, okay, okay. Right, this part? Yeah, this part, yes, okay. number five. <laughs> so, number five is the, is the problem. Yeah, I don't know if my classmates have a problem with this. Uh, I... So, what, what did you put as your answer, Romulo? Because here is not a verb, right? Here is, it has, 
is a is an adjective is a description uh -huh, okay i i wrote uh there are several bad staining on it no 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 that's that's a verb mm -hmm. you have to think of using it in a different form yeah You yeah, know that is uh, uh, hmm. because and 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 they, when they they use a but I confuse that and that and that and that because uh this is a stain stain it. Mm -hmm. So think of like a word, like the word, I'll give you an example, like the word break, right? Break is a verb, but the thing that when you describe it is not the phone is break. The phone is broken. That's an adjective, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So it is the same way. You need to change the word so that it has the same meaning, but it's not the same type. It's not the same uh, verb or noun or adjective in here, what you're going to need is you're not going to use the verb because it's not an action. Is that the adjective? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So what other way can we use stained? What would be another way, Romulo? Think of the other ways, the, the same for the other words like scratch or dance, mm-hmm. Mm. For me, uh, stained, no. The way that it's written there. Repeat it, please. So Excuse me. For, for you, is the same way that is there, Romulo. Try. For you, no, Romulo, for you, is this. Uh huh. Is the same way. Uh huh. Okay. No. No, 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 no. So, what is another way to write that word? You have to go back to the, the exercise. Mm -hmm. Repeat, Elizabeth. I think you have to go back to that um, that um, class. A class, okay. Yeah, because I, I, I right now I don't remember um, another the, the other way to say stain. Stain. Uh, is that mm. right? Yes. I, I'm not sure. I don't remember. I had to go back to the. the uh -huh. to that. Yes, I, I sure. Stains. Stains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, try uh, Romulo. Try, try right now. Okay, <laughs> let me check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Did you try it, Romulo? Yeah, let, let me, okay, I got it, yeah. Was it correct? Wait, teacher. Okay, wait. okay, no problem, no problem. Is my class may have uh, another question? Go okay, ahead. Okay, <laughs> while you check. Does anybody else have any other questions or anything that from, you know, from the lessons or from the midterm? I have a problem the listening. Uh, Parts one, one. Okay, what happened with the listening? Is part one the, the two questions, right? Uh, wait a minute. One point eleven. 
Huh? In the exam? No. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. No. Section one. one, section one. Okay, I got it. 1.11, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, you see my screen? Let me see. Luis, what does the person repair? It's luggage, no baggage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Luggage. Luggage. Uh, L U yeah, G G A G. I guess. <laughs> I, I, I. Luggage. I can hear luggage. L. Yeah. U. U. Uh huh. G. G. Uh, G again. Luggage. G again. No. No E. It's G again. Another G. Ah. Two G, two G. E. G G. Luggage. Uh, luggage. No, is that uh, A instead of the E? Wait, I forgot. I hear luggage. Uh, I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know. Is right. is is no. It's a uh, a instead of the e. S. A. Uh-huh, G. E. I guess. Yeah. Thanks, Elizabeth. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> e in the um, three, Sam, what does this the pro person repair? I can hear garage. Uh, he said household, house, household. Household, household, household appliances. Appliance, yeah. Household, house, house. yeah, like house. There, there he is. Household. Hall? All. All united, all united, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All. Is is a is a is a is a one word whole household. No. Is household. Is is household is just one word. <laughs> yes. And then a space? No. Wait. No. Wow. Oh. Uh-huh. Space and then appliances. W, A, w P. P. Yes. L. Uh, I. Yeah. Uh -huh. S. And S. Mm -hmm. No. Oh. In plural, is appliances in plural? Appliance. Appliances. Instead of the S is C. Yes, correct. You got it. Good. Thanks. <laughs> and you're going to help me and let me help. Oh, can you huh? put back the, the, the screen? Cause okay, okay. I have, okay. Pro I have, problem, I have problem with the 1.1. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, there you go. 
let me see because uh, i tried different oh i oh man i it's it's battery in in singular gee okay i got it thank you okay you're welcome and romulo for you did you did you get it or no yeah uh but uh i have the problem with the part three is the and the uh rewrite the sentences okay okay let's let me go there but now you saw part in part three choose the correct word or phrase right letter c let me mm -hmm. El part three. My goodness, Romulo, you almost finished. <laughs> In this part, Romulo, or, or which part? And the, let, let me check the oh, okay. chat. Is uh no no uh, uh, the part three then let me uh, re, re, uh, let me check each the exercise complete this and. Uh, uh, Part okay, complete the sentences in part three. Re rewrite the sentences. Using the sentences. Yeah, the passive and the prepositions. So which which one, Romulo? Three point what? Uh one and three point one. Part three, teacher. Uh part three number one. So this one, 3.1. Let me here. Mr. Alvin, I think he's trying no. to to ask you for midterm. Okay. Part B, exercise three. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look. Midterm. You finish, Jose? What part? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Okay. For complete the sentence, mid, oh. meter, part. Complete the sentence? E. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Number one. Number, Number one. These glasses are scratch, have a scratch, and the lens, they no. are? Don't, don't, teacher. Part three. Sorry, part three. One, two. Don't, don't. There yeah. we go, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. The ready sentence using the passive and the preposition. I, um, if he, I try to the the, re, the rewrite the, the sentences, but <laughs> and different. Uh, let me check, teacher. Do you want to, Romulo? Do you want to share your screen? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Share your screen. Well. Okay, that one, can, 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 can you see? Yep, 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 I see it. Okay. Perfect, I, thousands I, of acres of Thousands forest. of acres of, of forest land uh -huh. are being uh -huh. burned uh -huh. because of uh -huh. the careless of use um, campfires. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I see what your mistake is. Look at the, wait, wait. Yeah, look at the original it. sentence. Careless. What comes after careless? Okay. No, no. Look, look. Just look up. Don't, don't change. Look at the, look at the okay. sentence. Careless. Uh huh. Careless. Look, look at number uh -huh. one. Uh huh. 
What do you have wrong? Read the sentence. Read sentence number one, and then okay, look. At, okay. And then look at your example, and then see. No, no, don't change it. Don't. No, no. Go back. Go okay. back. Okay. 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 Go back. Only read that part. Okay. 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 Keep, Keep going. Goes off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yep. Now compare that part to the part above. Compare how you wrote it and look at the original. It's upside upside down, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of exactly. <laughs> of use. Do you of see use. it? Do you see it, Romulo, or no? No, teacher. I've okay, read the, read, the, read, the, read the sentence. Read the sentence. Not your sentence. Read the sentence from... from okay. The, the careless use of... Okay. Now read your sentence. Read? Your, the one that from you there. wrote. The, read ah. the one from that there, you The careless of okay. use. Aha. Uh -huh. You don't see the difference? <laughs> of use... Use of, uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, you found the mistake. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, use of, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Check, that's it. Okay, let me check. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no, no. Again. And the end. Send it, send it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you see, many times the, the mistakes are, is, it is just something small, something that you don't, maybe in the moment you don't see or mix or a yeah. paper, something like that. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Still, we yeah. have. Go back up. Let's see. You should have it right. Thousands of acres of forest. Yeah. No. No. T H O. That's an of accurate of, uh -huh. of forest land uh -huh. are being yeah. burned, burned because, because of uh -huh. the, the careless, careless use of campfires. Careless use of mm. campfires. Oh, I see. Okay. Eight, eight. I, yeah, yes, the spelling, the last yes. word. Hey, hey, excellent, excellent. Yeah. Cam, yeah, yeah. I you, am, were, you were yeah. thinking in Spanish, te acampar. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Yeah. You see, it's only, it's, it's just well, normal. Don't worry, it's not wrong. It's just it's just normal mistakes. Normal mistakes. <laughs> can, can, can you see that one or can you help me or number three? What, what number number three? three. Okay, okay, let's see. It says forest has destroying forest has been killing frogs. But the topic? What is the topics? The killing frogs. That's right, but not the killing, because killing is no. the verb. So yeah, 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 frogs. Exactly. So the frogs is the topic. Uh-huh. Okay. Frogs. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the noun. Oh. <sighs> frogs. Has been killed. No, 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 has been. Have, have. Wait, the, let me see. Frogs have been. Ah, see, see, it's plural, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
have been killed by the destroyed mm -hmm. forest. Marcus Forest, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay. Hmm. It's still sending, don't worry, it's still yeah, sending. Yeah. You gotta send it again. No. Check again. Frogs. Mm -hmm. But no remember, no being have been. Have been. That's right. Yeah. Mm. No. Yeah. Frogs have been killed by destroying forests. By destroying mm -hmm. forests. Is that the problem? Yeah. The DS. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Forest. Yeah. yeah. You just have to, Romulo, you just have to take the time and go through each of them. Look for the spellings because it seems like the spelling is the one that's giving you the problems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just okay. take the, Yeah. 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 So, uh -huh. And that one? Nope. That's not Try correct. To uh huh. The topic is not famine. Not famine? No. No, no that's at the beginning. Disease, disease and famine are causing suffering for exactly. people. Exactly. That's like Andrea and Michelle are cooking dinner. So the topic is not the famine because it's the disease and famine is together. What are, what are they talking about? Poor people. Exactly. That is the topic. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to start the focus on. Yeah. Poor people. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Are causing... No. Poor people... Are... No. Look at the sentence that they give you. It's just the same as the sentence they give you. Only you have to put in the word. Mm -hmm. Poor people have been. No. No? Poor people where? Poor people are suffering. Were. Correct. Hmm? Yeah. Romulo, we're going to... You go ahead and, and you try. Try to do it uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. tonight and then we'll, we'll see tomorrow. If you still have okay. problems, if you still have problems tomorrow, we'll help you tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. But remember, begin with poor people. The, the idea is always is the subject. So, for example, if Elizabeth is, if I'm talking about Elizabeth and I say Elizabeth is cooking apple pie, okay? The topic is going to be apple pie. It's going to be... Uh, do you know all, all of whatever the, the subject is? That's one form, even if it has and or or, it's like one because that's the beginning. And then whatever the object is, that's going to be other, like a beautiful house. So the topic is going to be a beautiful house. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, teacher. I, I tried to, to do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least we help you with with a couple of them and then just, and, and check the spelling. <laughs> when you always give us, a, give yeah, us yeah. a copy later. Yeah, yeah, always check yeah. the spelling, <laughs> always check the spelling. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you, thank you so much. I really of course, of course. Don't worry, and if that one, you still have problems with that one tomorrow, you let me know and then we'll help you again with that one. Yeah, only that day I 
I finished. <laughs> and, and the other parts were okay, Ramon? Yeah, all, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll finish. All right. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. A good day. Hmm. I, I try to, to do, but okay. For part three, uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm. I tried, teacher. Uh, don't worry. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at... Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. Mm. I think well, the... In, in this part, teacher, uh, sorry, but classmate, uh, if you have a question, <laughs> I, I don't pretend to spend your time, right? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, we are learning together. Okay. <laughs> uh, I have a doubt that, that uh, um, in the, let me, let me check, okay. Mm. And that uh, number four, teacher. Okay, let's take a look. And, uh, this is correct. A boy sugary, yeah, uh, high fat foods. Is correct that? No. Okay. Because, uh, good. Where are you? Is are you still in the middle? Okay. Yeah. Avoid sugary. What was it? Sorry, don't. Okay, there we go. Avoid sugary, high fat foods. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use a sh avoid sugary, high fat foods. But which one do you want to complete? The, the, a good way to spend, to spend a rainy weekend is. Good way to. To eat healthy is no by not by avoiding sugary. So so listen to the okay. Listen to the sentence that you are reading. Read the sentence mm -hmm. and listen to what you are saying. Is that a good way to get healthy? The best way to eat eat healthy is uh huh. Uh huh. But the but don't have a, another ocean in the no 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 that that but read your sentence listen to what it says I don't don't only listen listen to I'm going to read your sentence just listen to listen to the logic okay. the best way to eat healthy is not by avoiding sugary high fat foods. This is the best way to get healthy? <laughs> no. No. What is the best way to get healthy then? What would it be? The best way to eat healthy is? Avoiding. Exactly. Avoiding. Um, okay. No, no, no. You need to use by. Remember, you have to use by. So now listen to the sentence. The best way to eat healthy is by avoiding sugary, high fat foods. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead, Romulo, check. Okay. <clears throat> Did you have, okay, sugary? Rolling with the, okay. High fat foods? Do you, let me see the high fat. Let me see how you wrote high fats. Yeah. High fat. Let's check the spelling. You forgot, you need a hyphen. Remember, look in the, look in the original. In the original, it has a little hyphen, a, a little line between high and fat. Okay. Uh -huh. That you need, you have, because that's how the word is spelled, high fat. Do you have a period? I didn't see. Did you have a period? No. And, ah, and the period, there we go. Let's check. Mm -hmm. That's it. So it's not so much of, of the grammar because the grammar is correct, not by having, not by uh, avoiding sugar, but it doesn't make sense because if you yeah. want to be healthy, it's not, a, it's not by uh, not avoiding, it's, it just is by avoiding the film. 
So it's like if Jose says, I want to get stronger. Ah, it's not by doing exercise. No, 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 it's, it is by doing exercise. So the others is, is just check the logic for your sentences. Mm -hmm. By writing a short story. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, I see. You see your words? Check your spelling. It's all of it. You, it, you seem to have had a lot of problems with the spelling in, in this exam. The, the, okay. Do you see the mistake or no? No, no, re, written. Exactly, that's the mistake. How many T's? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Romulo. All right. I hope that helps everybody else as well. In, in case you haven't done it or you see, is is just one of those things that you just is just to be careful with the the spelling and more than anything, I think that was the, the biggest yeah. the biggest mistake in here. You're gonna help me later, Romulo. Re repeat. <laughs> Oh, You're gonna I, help me later. Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's continue then. Don't worry, we're we're not gonna be able to see all of them, but we we still can see at least the topic that uh, part of the topic that we were gonna look at today, which was the phrasal verbs. Do you guys remember, or do you know what are phrasal verbs? Phrasal. Yeah, phrasal verbs. Okay, I'll help you out. Mm -hmm. So phrasal verbs are those words that you put together that have a different meaning. Usually the phrasal verbs have a, a preposition, okay, and a verb. So as an example, common two, two word phrasal verbs that are very common are the words, for example, turn. We have turn on, turn off, turn up, turn down. This means Wake that, that exactly, uh-huh. So this means that each of these words, when they combined, they give a different meaning. So the original word is turn, okay? But when I put it with a different preposition, for example, turn on, ah, the light, turn off, darkness, turn up, the volume, turn down, reduce, maybe like the air conditioning, okay? So all of these are the phrasal verbs. They, they take a verb and a preposition, and then you put them together to create a different meaning, okay? So as an example, another example, maybe we have the word break, and we have break up, separate the relationship, right? You break up with your boyfriend, or you break up with your girlfriend. Then you have break into, this is like a thief, a robber, he goes into your house, okay? Break into, okay? Break down. So break down, very good. Another breakdown, maybe you're driving the car and you have a breakdown. That's the idea of phrasal verbs, that two words when combined together create a new definition. So it's not that you can, you can understand the meaning literally by one and the other word, no. When they are together, poof, it's a different meaning and you have to know those. I'm going to show you the video where we're going to see a little bit about this. And today we're going to be looking at three word phrasal verbs. That means these, it takes three words to make these phrasal verbs, but it's the same concept of the two words. Okay. So here. Okay. So you have a better idea of what they mean. Take some time to make sense of them. I say at the end. Hi, as you know, and recall, we use phrasal verbs a lot in English. This time we'll show you a list of three words phrasal verbs that you may use when talking about services and dating. Work with me and stay and find out what we want you to do.
<clears throat> Listen to the following list of three phrasal verbs. Then I will use them in a sentence so you have a better idea of what they mean. Take some time to make sense of them. I say at the end and see if you got the meaning right. Broken up with, came up with, looking forward to, cut down on, keep up with, put up with, get along with, take care of. Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. Rob can keep up with his students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. Bill can take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage his money. Okay, so what's the most important? I think from the important is two things. Okay. Sorry about that. I think this is easier. Okay, so the important is two things. One, that the phrasal verbs, you understand what they mean. So we have several different phrasal verbs. They're in the WhatsApp group, but they're also here. All of these are the three word phrasal verbs. Here, they're being used in sentences. Are there any phrasal verbs that you don't understand um, with the examples that they give you? Are there any that are not, excuse me, that are not clear the meaning? Like cut down on? Cut down on is a synonym of reduce. Keep up with. Keep up with means to maintain to, or to stay at the same level. So like for example, right now, uh, you, we are in unit four and you need to keep up with the platform. You need to maintain at the same level of the platform. And looking forward. Oh, looking forward is the expectation. So many people, they are looking forward to the weekend. They are looking forward to the vacation. Okay. Teacher, put up with. Is similar to support. That, support. Mm -hmm, yeah, that you put up with. Mm -hmm. There are more uh, phrases, uh, teacher? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, Elizabeth. A lot. A lot. But, <laughs> yeah. So how, how do we, do we have to memorize? <laughs> um, yes, yes and no. Not so much of memorizing, but of, of common usage. Because a lot of them are more than anything you can understand. Even if you don't know the meaning, um, you usually can understand within the context and within the examples that they give you. So maybe for you to use them, uh, you exactly. have to, for you to use them, you have to memorize them. But from when people use them, you can usually get the meaning for the context. Yes. I have, maybe I have no problem with that, but using. Yeah. That's, I think that's, that's the problem. Yeah, usage is definitely part of the memorization and usage because it's not just memorizing it, but using those phrasal verbs daily, using them uh, constantly. Mm -hmm. Teacher, mm -hmm. I, yeah. I heard a phrase in a movie. Mm -hmm. It was, um, the girl says, say, I'm running without money. Okay. Running out. She said, I'm running out of money or I'm running without money? Without money. Okay. So she is escaping with no money. If she is running out of money, is that she is losing her money or she is spending most of her money? Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I think they were talking about that they don't have enough money to spend in a, in vacation or something like that. Then it's probably it's probably the 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 second one where it's running out of. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can listen again and check. But it, if if it's not having enough money, it's going to be running out of money, because you can. This means not have enough. So, for example, in my house, I need to go to the supermarket for milk. I'm running out of milk. I don't have enough milk. So you may invent or <laughs> or try to create new phrasal verbs. No, no, not create them, but you use them. You use those are the ones that, because running out means that it has two meanings. One is to escape. So like I'm running out of my house or I'm, you know, or I'm running out of, I'm running out of work is you're leaving quickly. And the other running out is that you don't have enough of. So I'm running out of money. I'm running out of medicine. I'm running out of whatever it is that you are losing or you don't have enough of that, of that thing. So we may do some combination. Yes, okay. yes. And that's what Elizabeth was asking, that what are these combinations? Yes, they exist. The question is that really to use them, you need to memorize them and what they mean, because it's not that you can create them and use them any way you want. They are already created and they already have a meaning. So it's not the same running out of running up. So running up means increase. So like at a bar, um, many people or at a hotel, they run up a tab. <coughs> that means they increase or, or they, they put, they order ceviche, they order beer, they order food and they, they increase the bill. So, okay. so for all of these phrasal verbs, it's about memorizing what they mean and then trying to use them. Don't worry, we're, we're not going to use them right now. We don't have enough time to practice. But tomorrow, at least you have an, an idea of what we're going to be talking about. And tomorrow we're going to try using these phrasal verbs, at least. So you can start to get a couple of them in your vocabulary. Okay? Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, tomorrow, teacher. Thank you, guys. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Bye -bye.